much for us. On them old big head boys. Come on and make me jump. Talk. You didn't even know I did, Magic, did you? Was. The first thing I want you to know is I'm not. We have a very, very funny, talented man coming up. You've seen him on a Tonight Show on David Letterman and a regular on the Dom DeLuise Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. George Wallace. <laughs> Once again, we're back here in the beautiful state of New Jersey. Yeah. I want to talk to you people because I think you people drive like you're crazy over here. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't have more handicapped parking spaces the way you people drive. <laughs> you can make a right turn on red. We can't do that in the city. We can't let people make right turns on red. We already got people going straight on red. On the George Washington Bridge yesterday, a man in front of me changed lanes from the upper level to the lower level. <laughs> and didn't even think of it. So hope well, I hope you people are in a good mood. That's good. I've been mad all day. I called AT T AT and T told me I wanted a cellular phone. They told me to go sit in the car. There should be a guy out between eight and five. <laughs> the whole world is sick. I know I'm sick. You, you, ever, you ever get on the elevator and all the buttons are pressed? I do that. Because <laughs> I'm sick, I'm doing a lot of crazy things too. People call you with the wrong number, that ever happened to you? Somebody called me the other day and said, I'd like to speak to Larry. I said, oh, you didn't hear about Larry? <laughs> yeah, a car accident. <laughs> You, who, you want to speak to your sister Mary? Um, she was in the car with Larry. What number is this? What number did you dial, idiot? That's the number. I'm a sick person. I'm at home, I'm watching television, they got this thing on, this new invention called the clapper. Clap on, clap off, clap on, clap off the clapper. Have you seen this old witch at the end of the commercial? She clapped her pacemaker off. And she didn't clap with her hands, she did it with all that fat underneath her arm. You know? What did they come up with all this stuff on television? Then after the clapper, they have the Silver War chess set. The Silver War chess, and that's something I really enjoyed doing, sitting around remembering the Civil War. Each piece is made of fine pewter. Since when did pewter become a precious metal? You know, that's a lovely ring you have on there, sweetheart. Could that be pewter? There's nothing as nice as a thick, dull piece of gray jewelry. Civil War chess said they send you one piece every two months. I guess around the year of 4,000, I should be ready to play some chess, huh? The Civil War chess said, I, I can't wait till they come out with that slave edition of Monopoly. <laughs> no property, no community chess, just all around the board. Go to jail, go to jail, go to jail. <laughs> the whole world is sick. Then we got Bush and all, I, Bush, Bush has got this country so screwed up, we got people sneaking back into Mexico. <laughs> You need me in charge of this country. First thing I do is install mistletoe at every airport. So when you check in, you can kiss your luggage goodbye. <laughs> to conserve on energy, I'd get rid of the electric chair. We take the guy, put him in a bathtub, throw in a toaster. <laughs> that way we can clap his butt on and clap his butt off. Yeah. I'd make a great president. I'd make a great president. I'd balance the budget tomorrow. Just like that, I'd have a garage sale. That's right. And speaking of garage sale, let me ask you a question. What is it that you white people do on Friday and Saturday nights, make y'all wake up the next morning and put all your junk in the front yard? Wait a minute, 
Okay, now, if you answer that question for me, I'll answer a question you've been confronted with for 10 or 15 years. And that question is, why don't black people go camping? <laughs> what you got in the woods? No running water, no heat, no light? <laughs> Hell, I got that at home. <laughs> would make a great president the government is spending too much of our money this new airplane the b1 bomber there's a problem with the plane it's going to cost us taxpayers eight billion dollars to fix it now my question is what's wrong with the old bombers we had huh? all the people we've been bombing throughout the years have these people been complaining <laughs> so the plane doesn't fly as fast as it should the bomb's gonna be a little late you think these people are going to be sitting around watching their clocks going, well, what time is that bomb going to get here? <laughs> I have things to do. <laughs> Our government can do some stupid things. Why do they stop prison riots? <laughs> Here's the first public service deed these people ever done in their lives. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was in charge of this country. Some dude comes up to me, if you don't give me a filet mignon, I'm gonna kill my cellmate. Knock yourself out. <laughs> if I was in charge of this country, I'd make sure all criminals on death row are dead. <laughs> this appeal system stinks. If three or more people say you did it, <laughs> that's good enough for me. I'd have one form of capital punishment. I'd get rid of the electric chair, lethal injection, and hanging. I'd have one giant microwave. <laughs> How many people did he kill? Three? <clears throat> Three minutes. <laughs> Ding, he's done. <laughs> I would change this country. I'm so sick. I am sick. I was driving here tonight, stopped my car, ran inside an Alcoholic Anonymous meeting. I said, happy hour! <laughs> Oh, I'm sick. <laughs> Three things you never see. Number one, you never see cats making love. Mm -mm. You can hear them. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you better leave me alone! <laughs> Number two, you never see an oriental driving instructor. <laughs> And number three, you never see two black government twins. <laughs> you know why? Because we all don't look alike. <laughs> I'm George Wallace. We love you. Thank you so much. He was good. New Jersey.